First came the sound. So I was driving up to my house and I heard a chirp come from the back seat. Then a message on her iPhone. The next day I saw that there was something traveling with me. This Houston woman, who doesn't want us to identify her because her divorce is not yet finalized, realized she was being tracked. Before I heard the chirp, I knew what an air tag was. I was not familiar with it being used in that way. Stalking people is not a new crime, but now, thanks to devices like the Apple AirTag, it's cheaper and easier than ever before to follow people without their knowledge. All those technologies, they don't know whether they're being used to help you find your stolen bike or help you stalk your ex. Rice Professor Dan Wallach is a computer security expert. He explains that the Apple AirTag relies on Bluetooth technology and the Find My iPhone app from anyone's iPhone to pinpoint its location. That means all iPhones near a particular AirTag are actively helping to locate that tag, making it very accurate. The tags are cheap, light, and since iPhones are basically everywhere, they're great at tracking your stuff, but can also easily be used to track unsuspecting people. So if you've lost something, like your bike, it can help you find it, and that's really great. But the same technology, if I am stalking my ex, I could hide it in their bag or purse or whatever, and then I can say, where's my ex? And that's what happened here. This woman was going through a divorce and says her not-quite ex-husband hid the tracker in the back seat of her car. Once she discovered it, she sent all the information to her lawyer and then confronted her husband. At first, he denied that he had done it, and then he was very apologetic and, and kind of came clean. In her case, the stalking behavior was not a crime. Attorney Matt Tyson explains. In Texas, we're a community property state, and so what that means is uh, the husband or the wife is going to have the same interest in that vehicle, uh, if we're talking about a vehicle, that they can track that. Tyson says stalking cases using various tracking devices are notoriously difficult to prove in court. While it's clearly illegal to track a total stranger, the law is murkier when trackers are used by people who are married, in a relationship, own property together, or share children. If somebody put a tag on their child's backpack. And so the backpack was able to show when it was with the other parent, where this child was, and they used it really to track the other parent. That was not a crime. These days, cameras and phones that track you are practically everywhere, but the regulations haven't kept up. It would be nice if regulators could be ahead of the game, but that's just not the way regulation works. ABC 13 checked all stalking cases filed in Harris County over the last 18 months. Only a handful involved tracking devices and none used air tags. Not surprising, experts say, considering how fast technology moves. The law is, is always evolving, but unfortunately technology evolves much, much faster. So the law is trying to catch up with technology that has really just taken off. And that's why Dr. Wallach says some uniform regulation is clearly needed. So how do we balance theft prevention with stalker prevention. I would say that there's a balance in there somewhere, but I'm not sure what it is. Until lawmakers catch up, it's up to each of us to be aware of the new technology around every turn. Maya Shea, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.